Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to bring you another episode of One Piece. And yes, it's going to be a super fun episode. We are now on episode 1011. So, we're basically keeping kind of in stride between the number title of the manga and the anime for right now. But eventually it's going to kind of switch up. We're going to go farther ahead on numbers and the manga reactions and the anime you know, catch up week by week as it always has for the last 15 20 years now which is so wild to say but as always if you enjoy watching the original content remember support it by checking it out uh you know at the original official distributors whether that be at crunchyroll check out the manga viz remember support ichira oda the go to god because if we don't who else will seriously though who else will besides us if, if they don't like one piece it's all he's got man we gotta support him we gotta support him but I digress. If you enjoy watching with us, stick around to the end and you can catch some info, info on how to support us. But I only want you to do that if you really enjoyed watching. Otherwise, give me some info on how I can improve. Comments are down below. Tell me I suck. Either way. But we're going to go ahead and get into this episode and watch Sanji essentially, uh, you know, lose it all to Black Maria. It, why did it have to be... The, why do they have to do it like that? Like all... Oh, that's naughty! I swear Oda's a perv, and a comedian, and it's so funny. He must have detected- It's not that he didn't. But they all do- That's actually a really perfect explanation of the Straw Hats. Which is silly, because that does- They all end up doing what they need to do, even though they all do their own thing. This is dumb as hell, though. I love it, too. Luffy's like, I need to increase my... In, in the manga, he's like, I gotta increase my hockey of observation. Yeah, but only for women, bro. It's, that's that's uh, that's where he beats you. Oh, my God. I can't, bro. The familiar... Oh, my God. No... They're making it so dramatic. I mean, it is, it is dramatic, but it, it, they're overdoing it so much for this. Just to fuck with Sanji. Oh my god. That is a long, uh, what is it called? Haram? Hara? Haragane? I can't remember what the uh, circle part in, in the middle of them is, the wrapping is. And back he comes. Oh, and he's wrapped up. That was nice. Oh, great. Pervy man of justice. Another? That she must do this a lot. Man, I was trying to mimic what she said and fucked it up immediately. Was it Flimmy Yori? Well, oh my god. They're so overdoing all these little pieces. I do love that she does have the swords in her hair, though. Maybe it would totally cut her hair, but whatever. It's, it's cool enough to make me not give two shits. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> it's so small compared to her. I forgot. I forgot how tiny he is. <laughs> That's funny as fuck, dude. Honestly, funny as fuck, too. I don't. I don't like your amazing sexy body. Is that what he's gonna say? Oh my god, he just goes straight to I love you. Oh wow. And I'm gonna say, this is definitely done more here, once again, in the anime than it is in the manga, all these side parts. This motherfucker! I finally learned what was up with them. I did not know, I, I thought I was... I had no idea. Oh great, yeah, they're gonna beat these assholes again. <laughs> 
This is so weird. Don't, don't drop bananas on me. Oh my god, this is so awkward. Well, you already lost to a kid, so... Oh wow, they built- I forgot they built to the next floor with a ladder. Here's my question, why aren't they actually just busting through the ceiling? Tapping his foot. Dumb as hell. It does make a good point though why they just bust up through the ceilings. There are often some gaping holes in logic for characters. Damn. He does look more intimidating recently though. I do appreciate that. Earthquake from his hockey! Bitch! Get stunned on! You didn't know it! It's, yes, his anger provoked an earthquake. Uh, also, yes. Also, yes. Can we just answer yes to these questions? It, just answer yes to the following questions. Is Zoro a beast? Check. Is he the badass? Check. Alright, well, thank you. I like the old school waves there. The, um, they're from, like, the paintings or whatever, the classics. They're even fucked up down there. Hey. Yeah, you're gonna have to. There's a lot of debris falling from what's going on here. And I, it's always tough for me to remember that the scale in One Piece is not like in other anime and manga. It's pretty consistent. When he draws something in one spot, he draws it a very, very good size relative to a portion or angle you're seeing it in another spot. And there's tons of examples the whole way through the series since probably the moment you meet the giants or the calm belt even when you get to see all the giant uh, sea kings. But... This is an exceptional bit of power that it would take to do this, by the way. I always want to remind people of that same with like when Don Flamingo was or Do Flamingo was fighting Luffy in uh, Dressrosa. This right here has got to put a serious strain. You'll see what it is. Is it the support? I like how they drew the ender side of the port, which is like this rock face coming out instead of like a flat cliff break. Okay, oh, we also learned that now, now just now. We kind of knew though. Come on, do the reveal. You've been leading up to it for like three minutes while I was talking about it. There it is. Woo! Like I said, I, even if that only requires a fraction of power, that's got to be an intense amount of power. Because... Holy jeez. I can't believe... Ooh. That... Like, because once again, that makes um, people like Kaido and Doflamingo automatically country, like, power level. Whether or not they're destructive here or there, like, the ability to infect, uh, affect or effect an entire, right, uh, piece of land geography is a huge deal. And it's one of the ways we scale powers in most rankings is, like, don't get me wrong, all rankings are BS. Whoever the wider wants to win, wins, but this is a cool feat for Kaido, uh, that really does push his level back up there again, as far as, like, God, just the shit he's doing. Dude, get shit on Akazaya 9. Damn, I knew it was coming. It still hurts. Especially Kiku's arm. Fuck, man. Ugh. Violence. 
That was a little bit too much epicness at the end, but I do get it. They're trying to set up that feat. Right, and it is, it's a cool feat. Having him lift Onigashima up out of the dirt like that is actually a pretty intensely cool feat, in my opinion. As well as, once again, gives you that section and idea of his power. I, I think it's, once again, a lot of people forget that while Luffy is fighting against Doflamingo, and the whole time, even a little bit before and after that, he is putting Cage around a country, and this is similar, where he's lifting a whole country up. Probably takes more energy, actually. However, I don't know how it's gonna end. Obviously, I'm not all the way caught up in the manga yet. I'm only on chapter like 1010. So I'm not that much farther ahead of the manga than we are here on the anime. However, it in fact, we still haven't even caught up to where I was left off before. Remember when I said I had stopped? And where I stopped was basically chapter 1000. We still haven't gotten to chapter 1000 yet, not technically. So hopefully I think we're gonna get there next episode. We're gonna get to see either, the, actually probably the episode after. Probably episode 1013 we'll get to see some cool new stuff and i hope you guys are looking forward to it but i don't want to ruin any more than that for people who haven't seen the anime if you do want to you know check out some of what's going on in the future you can check out our manga reactions we're doing one piece manga reactions every week now as well as going to try to do some other you know tv shows anime movie whatever you guys suggest we're going to try to get really involved with the community and like figure out what you guys want to watch and do with us we're going to try a bunch of new stuff have a fun time and i, I think you guys will like it but if you want to check out the stuff we are doing, you can check us out at twitch.tv slash reactions with an X will be linked below. We go live every Sunday for a couple hours to just watch new commercials, talk with you guys, chat on Twitch and all that good stuff. You can also see all of our episodes basically on YouTube later, although they have to have these audio and video cuts to keep from getting copyright marked. But if you want to avoid those and see all of our old stuff, including some exclusive access stuff, you can come and check out our Patreon for as low as a dollar a month. Also linked below and you can get all of our patreon stuff including all the stuff we don't have on youtube we have some movies and shows and other things that we didn't feel comfortable putting on youtube so check them out there and we'll see how they go with that said i think i am pretty much done for today thank you guys again so much for watching and i really do hope you liked watching with us if you did like comment subscribe check out some of our other stuff hit the bell for notifications on whenever we drop new videos which is about three or four times a week not including some of our trailers so yeah it should be a great day and i hope you have a great one i'll see you next time on reactions with an x one piece